Hey there. No long-winded intro or anything like that. I'm just making fun of another prankster per usual, so you know how the situation goes. Back with another video! I am back with a prank. Today we are not at Walmart and we are not at Home Depot. We are at... She's been doing videos like this for months and still can't figure out simple audio. All of it sounds like you're underwater listening to a series of farts every time she tries to speak in the intros of her videos. This is someone you've probably seen before, but I guarantee none of you know who she is, which is the way it should be. Cause she's just an insufferable prankster whose entire personality revolves around making strangers lives miserable. So she goes to Walmart, or in this case Dollar General, and just harasses people. In this one, her prank is taking things out of their shopping carts and throwing it on the ground or insulting them for it. Or in one case, even just physically touching a woman to bother her as much as possible and then starts like braiding her hair. It's all just garbage. Now, she did have a video go viral a few months ago with the breaking TVs in a Walmart prank where she just went into a Walmart and broke a TV with a baseball bat. It was a TV she brought and she got arrested for it. And the entire internet came together to make fun of the clown and just point and laugh at her. And that's the proudest moment of her life. So it's all she does now, as pathetic as that is. But we about to go in here and just grab her and throw it looking. Like no, me no life for you. No. Nope. Nope. Don't buy it. No. Nope. Oh, brother, this prank stinks. It's such a trash idea in the first place, just throwing people's things on the floor and getting a rise out of them. But then to put the cherry on top of this already pile of dog shit, she has no personality at all. She doesn't even try and make a joke out of any situation. She does nothing. She is so bland and boring. She doesn't even say or do anything half the time. She just throws it and then sits there. Like her just brain had a Windows restart moment, like Windows needed to update. It's, man, I got something in my eye. This prank is so bad, it's actually causing my eyelashes to fall out into my fucking eyeball. But yeah, anyway, like I said, half the time she just freezes there, deer in the headlights, and just stands there like she's been lobotomized. But in the rare instances where she doesn't, she ends up just getting more mad at the people she's pranking than the people do at her. She gets so offended that people respond negatively to having their things thrown or being bothered and harassed. It's so fucking weird. Whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Those are ours. But I just want to see if I, I want to buy it. Okay. okay, it doesn't matter. How you expensive is it? Can you just put it back? I don't know why. Can you just tell me how expensive it is? I don't like know why it is. It's four dollars. Yeah. You're good. I know you're making it a video, good. and I don't care for your video. Wait, I just said you can have a bag. I'm about okay. to give it back in a minute. It doesn't matter. You can I'm about to give it back. It's, it's, a, it's ours. It doesn't have to be. You don't have. Oh, it's just the most annoying person ever. Just goes up and then just makes an argument out of taking their shit like, oh, I just want to know how much it costs. And then she immediately starts getting heated herself. Like her whole prank is supposed to make others angry, but half the time it ends up making herself angrier. I don't know how she can even have such shamelessness to record shit like this and then keep going after someone calls out that she's filming a video. That is unbearable, incomprehensible levels of shame that I can't process with my little noodle here. You have not only been bothersome and a nuisance to these strangers, but now they also know that you're recording it to try and get clout online. How do you not puke from the overwhelming guilt of being such a loser and being caught red-handed with it? Oh, it blows my mind. You're just coming up to us. So are you going to be nice or not? I'm Can gonna we have back. it back, please? Are you going to be nice? Can we have it back, please? You know what? I fuck with you. Could you say Thanks. please? Don't get your wife. She's really mad right now. This painful interaction dragged on for so long, I cut out a lot of it. She eventually puts the first item back in their cart, but then grabs another one in order to keep the argument going and escalating it. At some point, the wife walks away, to which our prankster, the galaxy brain prankster, had the gall to say, go get your wife, she seemed mad, even though the whole time, the prankster really did seem just as mad as the wife. But then she tries to hide that embarrassment with that big old smile grinning from ear to ear, celebrating a job well done. Another banger piece of content she was able to deliver with that. What's wrong with you? What's up? What's, what's, what's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, why are you over? I don't even know you. What, what? 
Girl, some girl just came over here and just knocked this thing okay. off my basket. What's 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 wrong? Nothing's wrong. Okay, so what you do? Sorry, she she with you? She is legitimately a child. She has the brain of a six-year-old. Or they'll take a cookie from the countertop and throw it on the floor, smashing it to pieces, and wait to be scolded by adults. She's also so fucking lame that she can't think of how to communicate past that initial shock of throwing someone's things on the floor, that the only thing she can muster is just repeating what the other woman is saying back to her. What's your problem? What's your problem? Is she with you? What? Get, come on. Move what? around, please, ma'am. Move around. Can somebody come get her? Who you on the phone with? I don't even know what the prank is supposed to be. She throws some stranger's shit on the floor and then just stands there like one of those Buckingham Palace guards where they're not able to make a facial expression or speak because she can't process any words. So the only thing she comes up with is what other people have said or just asking annoying questions like, who are you on the phone with? What is the joke even? You just look so foolish. Can somebody come get her? Look, I apologize. I didn't mean to drop that, but I have a question. Don't, ma'am, please. No. no, 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 no. I don't, stay, stay. Somebody come get this. Girl. Come from over here. Girl. Today, Jesus. No, tomorrow. Today, Jesus. Tomorrow. Today. I wouldn't necessarily call myself an empath, but I can feel that lady's emotions and all of the thoughts running through her head at this moment, where she's contemplating whether or not it's worth it to beat this prankster's ass. I just know she's weighing the pros and cons, and I think the only thing that stopped her from putting her hands on the prankster is that she had a suspicion that this was someone going through a mental health episode, like psychosis or something, or like some kind of like you know, manic episode. I think that was the only thing that stopped her from just going after the prankster here. And one day, this prankster will try this with the wrong person, and it's not going to end well for them, and it's going to be entirely the prankster's fault for constantly instigating as much conflict as possible, because all she wants to do is make everyone around her upset, angry, or just make their day as worse as she possibly can muster. What a beautifully awful way of living your life. Oh, is this yours? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Who is that for? Is this for your dogs? Man, you a bitch. I would have been like, you my shit. You a bitch. Why you just let me take your stuff? This poor guy really gets the worst of it, just minding his own business, doing nothing wrong, just totally innocent, and this miasma of cringe marches up, takes an item out of his cart, throws it on the floor, and then he just says, okay, not playing this game, so he doesn't say anything, he just, he just sits there and takes it, eventually she grabs another item from his cart and she starts walking away with it, before turning around and throwing it back at him, calling him a bitch, for not standing up for that item. He gets berated for doing the right thing, just ignoring it. Like, what's he supposed to do, run over and put you in a chokehold to reclaim the item? He can just go get another one and it's not worth fighting you over or playing into your game. Because he would be the one that gets in the most trouble for it. Even though you are starting all of this conflict, you are the catalyst to the catastrophe that will eventually come from doing awful pranks like this. The person who does retaliate is going to be the one that gets the biggest punishment for it. And he clearly knows that, so he wasn't playing along with it. He did the right thing. I thought we were friends. I have one. Okay. Let me touch it. Here. I did it. Can I touch your booty? No. Now in this case, however, this one may have actually had, like, grounds for self-defense. She just walks up to a stranger, grabs her hair and starts tugging on it and then, like, air humping her back? And this could very well be an argument for self-defense. You don't know this person. This crazy lady behind you? That's kind of dangerous, actually. So I'm surprised this didn't lead to an actual scuffle, because this is a fucking awful thing to do. Now she's gone from just harassing people to physically harassing people. What, what an achievement. Look at how far we've come here. This prankster is leveling up right before our very eyes. Am I gonna die? Is this like a... Uh, 
I can't make no money. You gotta like walk through it. The queen of physical comedy strikes again. Look at the captivated audience in the store with not a smile in sight. I don't think she has ever made somebody laugh, like in general. But I will say, I hope she hurt her knee. Because she may have planned this fall, but she did not plan for that injury. She didn't brace even slightly. She just falls <laughs> like full blown, full force onto her right knee and then rolls over on it. So I really do feel like this is a situation where she hurt herself, but tried to play it off like, ooh, everything's okay, ha ha ha. Meanwhile, of course, nobody else is giggling or anything. But yeah, just wanted to showcase that, again, she gets kicked out. She actually got kicked out twice in this video. It doesn't seem like she goes to a store with a camera rolling without getting kicked out. So yeah, that's just another horrible prankster I wanted to make fun of. That's about it. See ya.